Today's lesson is on the slice serve. Slice serve is a great serve to use when you want to set up the serve plus one, where basically if you can pull your opponent out wide enough, you know, you're only going to need one shot maybe to finish the point, maybe two, but you could finish the point in one shot after that. The serve plus one. It's a great serve to have in the toolbox. You can pull your opponent out wide. I'll never forget 1975 finals of Wimbledon, Arthur Ashe against Jimmy Connors. He pulled, Arthur Ashe pulled Connors out so wide with his slice serve so many times. Basically, all he had to do was walk in and hit the volley to the open court. So it's a great serve to have. Federer uses it a lot. Serve plus one. So what is the mindset we want? Number one, you've got to have a continental grip or an eastern backhand grip. Those grips, remember, all racket handles, octagonal. They've got it. You've got eight sides. Number one, that little flat surface on top, that's number one. Number two is this little bevel here. And then number three would be on the side. Four is the little bevel underneath. Five is on the bottom. Now it's the same thing for a left-hander going this way. Now for a right-hander with me, I've got my index knuckle and the heel pad of the hand are going to be on that small bevel there, number two. So I'm going to put my hand there. That's the hammer grip continental. You can definitely hit a nice slice serve with that grip. Now, if you turn it to an eastern backhand where that index knuckle and the heel pad are up on one, it puts the racket more on edge and it's easier to generate spin. But either one of those grips will work. Now, what do we want to think of on the slice serve? Well, if you think about topspin just for a second, topspin you're brushing, you know, you're starting the brush, let's say at six, if we use the, the ball as a clock, okay, we've got 12 o'clock here and we've got six o'clock here. When we're hitting topspin, we're brushing from six to 12 or seven to one. So we're brushing this way. So we're thinking about making contact with the ball at six o'clock or seven o'clock. Okay, so we're brushing up. That's, that's topspin. Now for a slice serve, you want a different mindset. You want to think that you're brushing the ball on the outside of the ball. Now, if I was brushing the ball here, okay, that would be three o'clock over here. All right, so I'm brushing the ball at three o'clock. All right, now the problem with brushing the ball at three o'clock, that's a pure slice. But when you hit a pure slice, when you come around the side of the ball, you do not have any spin pulling the ball back down into the court for you. So you can only clear the net by a small margin. You don't have, you, you've got to be very close to the net because there's no spin pulling the ball down. So what I recommend Instead of thinking, you know, I mean, you can do this. I think that's what Arthur Ashe was doing because he, he was pulling Connors way out wide. But um, think of it more at you're, you're hitting the ball at two o'clock coming around this way. OK, at two o'clock, that's going to give you a little bit of top spin, but it also gives you that side spin so that after the ball bounces, it's curving away from your opponent. So the mindset you want is you're trying to peel the ball like you're peeling an orange at two o'clock. Now you can also go at three o'clock, but remember when you go at three, you have to keep the ball closer to the net. When you go at two, you can aim a little higher 
and still get, you know, the spin pulling the ball down for you. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. The hands drop. Now as the hands come up, I'll go to the platform position. Notice too the toss is out to the right. That's going to be key on your slice serve. You want to keep it a little more out to the right. Now you can really see the rackets on edge. So I'm coming at the ball with the racket on edge, and I'm carving the outside. Now look at that pronation, because a lot of players ask me, Tom, do you pronate on a slice and topspin? Yes, you pronate on all your serves. Okay, here's another one. Again, notice tosses out to the right a little bit more. Right there, the racket goes over my head like I'm knocking that party hat off. Now notice there, the racket's on edge, carving the outside, but the racket's also going up at that point. So I'm getting a little topspin on the ball, which enables me to clear the net by a safer margin. Okay, one more time in slow motion here. Toss out to the right. I'm knocking the, okay, the toss is there out to the right. Now watch how the racket comes over my head. So I knock that party head off right there. All right, now the edge is coming up right there. The racket is still going up. And I'm carving the outside like I'm peeling that orange. The slice serve is a serve that has to be practiced because, you know, you're aiming for that outside line. So in order for you to have a good percentage when you're aiming for that outside line, it's going to take practice. So get out there with a bucket of balls, pay your dues, and then you'll own a nice percentage on those slice serves. I hope you enjoyed that video. Please give me a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime I put up a future video. All the best. Take care.